Today's video from Sharper, we're taking a look at how you can program a limit on the paid out um, PO button on the XEA203 or 206 register. This video I'm using the model 203 but the process will be the same across um, the range including the 206. So a standard on the machine you can use the PO button here um, to open the cash drawer and record cash out payments so when you're paying money um, out the till. As standard it's completely open, there's no limit on the amount of money you can pay out uh, so it's a decent idea to put a limit on the button. Uh, it's fairly easy to do, it's shown in the manual so I've got the uh, XEA203 manual and I'm using the information on pages 52 to 54 uh, so if you've got access to that it might be worth looking at that and then you can follow what I'm doing in the video as well as the flow chart in the manual. So the first thing you need to do is to turn the key round to the PGM position. So you will need the manager key which should be marked MA. Turn it round to the PGM mode and then all you do is press the button that you're programming. So this is our button here, um, paid out, RCPTPO. Press it once and it comes up and says PO programming and it then says enter double zero key. So you press the double zero key and you can actually give the um, button a description. Um, so as default it's three asterisks and then PO, but you can program a different name, you don't have to. Uh, but all you do is type in the name as you would do as if you were programming the receipt header message or one of your departments or PLUs. So I'm just going to change mine to cash out. You've got a space button over here. Once you've got your description in and you're happy with it, you press the subtotal. So on my 203, it's marked hash TMST. It might be marked slightly differently on the 206, but that's the button you press. And then now, crucially, you enter the um, digits uh, to limit the sale. So we're going to put a limit of four on ours. So four digits, that means we can do 99.99. .99. If you wanted to limit to 999 then you would do three. For now I'm going to do four and then I'll show you what that looks like and then also how easy it is to change as well. So then you press hash TMST and then TLNS to confirm. You turn the key back around to the register position. You get a little printout confirming what you've done. So programming cash out four, so that's the limit of digits so now we can do 99.99 for our paid out button it comes up and says cash out but if we try and do a hundred pounds it should error yeah we get the over limit error message so if that's still now I've done that it does feel quite high so 99.99 is a lot to pay out so if you wanted to change that to limit it to no more than 9.99 you go back into the program and change it to three digits which is what I'll do now. If you ever get that error message, you just press the clear button um, and that should resolve the transaction. So if we turn the key around to PGM, press our button again, double zero. We've already entered the text, so we can just press TMST to skip and then to limit the digits, we'll change it to three, TMST and then TLNS to save. Key back round to the register mode now I'm expecting it to error on 99.99. Yeah, we get the over limit error, and it should also error on £10. But it will let us put through 9.99. Every time you do a cash out, as long as you've got the receipt switched on, you'll get a um, printout confirming you've paid 9.99 or whatever the value is out of the till. And then crucially, the whole reason for it is that it's recorded on your end of day reports. So if you do an X report now, so just double check where you are. I've done multiple cash outs um, before the video, so that's why that totals at that. So what I can do, if I do two X, uh, two end of day Z reports to get the total back to zero, and then just quickly do a paid out transaction for nine pounds. I get the receipt print out with a nine pound cash out. And then when I do my end of day report, or my X report, I've got the cash balance as minus £9. 
Okay, hope that video's been helpful. Got plenty more videos uh, showing you how to get the best out of your 203 and other sharp cash registers. Some of those videos will be appearing on screen now. So you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.